what, three months after winning uh, the major at Cologne. Instead, I'm actually sitting here, I'm about to cast the game, and this Well, I'll pick your brain many a time during this as we yeah. get straight underway. And uh, NIP starting on the CT side. He looking to uh, undo their recent run. To uh, change that, but they will have an army of NIP major. And the reigning champions, you could say, on a major level. Yeah. And this is actually something new from NIP. First frag comes in and it's Forest that goes down. P uh, Planet Key on fire here. Two big frags. Mekaleli, the new guy. The opening three frags go in the way of Planet Key and they are now looking to. But exist one on four. And. Uh... The, uh, or egg on the slightly home crowd, you might say. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I was just going to say, like, this is something we tried out with working to our favor. I'm not really sure why they went back to that, because we have so many solid pistol players that that armor on the, these players can actually make a huge impact. I'll try to make them so they actually don't get, end up going to the side. Just lost the opening round against uh, Planet Key. Who will be safe? Probably in the beginning of CSGO, we had a probably pretty decent percent. You know, they, are, they are pretty good on pistols, so it's not really for NIP's side. Go now, and here you see, obviously, Swedish. Boris has frag number two, and the home crowd find it. Forest as well has collected that AK. Uh, retreats. Nekalele, but no, Stavros helps himself to the frag. And Planet Keep. This has been a much more expensive uh, Antico than they would have liked. No further than exists. And the NIP fans. Yeah, and it was a great anti-eco or eco round from NIP. One thing though, for letting NIP kill them one by one in the beginning, they lost two entries. And the whole reason why that happened was because and the Planet Key didn't go together. They did not help each other. And he has an armor. It's dangerous. To build up some confidences, this the First event without you. Better maps. And I can understand the veto that Planet Key did on Dust 2, because they had re We took a gamble, removed Dust 2, and just like, let's just take. They're not favored to win this. They're, they're the underdogs. How much? I'll come back to that question in a second. Alex Hart gets himself a frag on to get right. For the ninjas. Is that next to trouble? both go down. Mecha uh, well, one off two, I was going to say, but it leaves just Strug standing. Uh, Second player comes around and uh, will finish off the job. And uh, over pass on the NIP side. Well, I mean, coming into this tournament, they had three months.
before the game when they were just setting up and stuff. And you know, Freiburg, he's been playing a lot. You know, he's he's here for blood. Same with Getra, he's also you know a lot of same hours, and they've been practicing like almost day and night to come in here as prepared as possible. So don't get me wrong. And I just don't see them, for example, going out in groups. On very good terms. How much are you still uh, interacting with them from going from daily interact? The most obviously, since I've known him for a very long time, and we actually live very. Off the frag onto Stavros. Next frag jumps past him as he pushes in and well. All their own way right now is Planet Key on this uh, eco. Have themselves a frag, but having. Of the A bomb site, which they're lining up and ready to do. There's the four of them. Now leave that charge in, and waiting for them is an armada of fire from NIP. They get one, but there is only uh, next left standing up. One round, and we'll move on to the Planet Key by round. And we focus on NIP because we have the luxury of having you here on the desk. But let's talk Planet Key. What do you know of them? What do you? Uh, what would you say if you were on NIP? You would. But they, especially in this matchup, they 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 probably need a miracle, and I think getting overpass might actually help them. You know. This was their uh, their one shot. You you, you get. The Had a. An ace up their sleeve, and if the cards you know are dealt their way, through the years, team comes in super prepared, be it on one map or uh, another, and here. And we're going tit for tat on these frags. It's three on three. Uh, it's actually funny to see is that they actually haven't changed anything on their seat to side. Uh, I'm curious to see how that's going to turn out later in the tournament when they play, you know, a team. Points of health and exist. We'll wait for him to come through the canals and in towards the. In here and look at the crowd. Room only. Uh, yeah, I went to the back, back almost. Yeah. So much people watching. You guys are just mocked. Yeah, uh, and it's the same now. And I hope for the people out there as well that I, that I'm still considered to be a part of the the NIP family, right? It didn't really look like, like like they had a game plan. They were just yeah. They started execution-wise. They don't really. It doesn't seem like they really have that much of a plan. So I wonder if this was just a gamble for them going into this match. It's like let, let, let's. About the uh, push that Nip did at the start of this round and, and their objectives there. But here we go. Just next left standing, and he isn't standing anymore. As far uh, the fans ready to roll. So, talk to us about that push that NIP did. Have an upper, uh, you can just push up because by the time that you're up in middle as a CT, the T's will just come come up from middle as well. So that you can actually get an easy. You here, uh, and just for a fact, like Forrest is playing amazingly right now. Is that time?
something something fresh here from Planet Heat, like you know, do a do a round straight off. If anyone's holding up, and in doing so, he's just cleared out an entire third of the map to uh, say where players are not. Forrester similarly takes a lot of information and a frag to life of uh, next he'll go down, and now. Yeah, this is not looking good for Planky this round either. They lost the entry. Yeah, short force is very low in HP. I think the best best thing for Planky right now is just to group up together, try and hit a side, use your smokes to your advantage, uh, at least get the bomb down. And you try, you know, and try to. Methodical push. They've got two coming around the park, and they will. They Make a four-man push coming in now. Get right. It's down to 50 points of health. Stafros chimes in, but get right out. They still retain that man advantage. And... Uh ...on to Forrest. And uh, we'll now go looking. Maybe the wrong decision there is... Trouble in that orb are going to have a troublesome time, but if he keeps that, that will be troubling with a four-man round. And Planicky have uh, their second round on the board. Amazing round there by Troubly. He he held that like a champ, even though the bomb was plant, planted pretty poorly. Uh, you know, and he could just come in and uh, and kill the last guy. And one of the round, it was an extreme. Oh yeah, for sure. And mean to do damage. But you can see again, look how far the NIP side push up early on in the round. They want to find... Flash over, have two guys rushing, maybe catch uh, one NIP member off guard, and there, there you go, you know, you have the entry. Now, if you count... ...out of saying, well, we're not going to engage you at this point in the, in the game, we'd rather... ...scared of NIP pushing, which is why they're taking it slow with me methodical, which is also a, a, a plan that you can have. You're not getting down to yourself. There's Get Right delivering the first and second. To pick up the first for Alex R. Dispatches of him, but coming in will be Freiburg. Have a phone call in the middle of a crowd and never going to happen. To Fiflaren's NIP story, when you decided to, to come in as your replacement, or did they not consult you, or how did it's a solid opper? And this is something that I think that NIP really needed, or at least could use. And easy for NIP as they clean out a five-man sweep. And uh, never do that. And for McLeary, he's got. Given the talent pool that was there, the language? Yes, I think so. A Swedish person, then to perhaps maybe, maybe switch to English or. It's a Danish player, maybe coming in. They're gonna, probably going to have a hard time. Forrest does get himself that frag, but uh, loses out, and uh, that uh, we'll see. Alex R going straight up against Exist. We'll hold back. So they have collected uh, Forrest weapon though, with uh, two C. Planet Key, if they can make a quick strike, maybe 
chance of getting that bomb down. That's a, that's a wise choice coming in from Planlicky, so they actually have the weapons, the arsenal that they need to perhaps. Isolated out, and McAlady put Stavros out of his misery. And trouble the that cycle can never be done. So, to counter again and try and bring balance whilst we have a, an NIP legend here on the casters, that's one of the A, a German planet key flag, and what would you be saying? This is how you beat NIP. I would hit them. And they walk straight into Forest for the second round in a row. And how? Stavros goes down, and it'll be Exist to join the fragging, and we're at a two versus two. Freiburg and Exist going up against, well. Has a full suite of nades at his disposal, still capable of uh, causing some trouble, but the bomb... ...as he uh, left that area. I don't think Palaniki realized that the NIP actually had one extra person. Oh! ...ready to double-team. Yeah, and you, see, you just, just take a look at Freiburg there, he's so focused. He might be happy that, you know, he just got... And then he also gets one more when he comes out here. And it was a great hold by Freiburg when NIP lost three entries. It was a two on five, I believe. And just Freiburg in here. Yeah, and they look looked like they're setting up for a B push again. They figured it was just a fluke last time that Freiburg, you know, managed to lock him down. Perhaps, you know, taking it a bit slower now. And clashing with the him. life of Trouble, who's uh, been the danger. Now, from uh, Planet Key's perspective, they will mining up for them, picks himself up one and two. Strugs does return the favor onto Exist, but that's the only slither of hope they have. The board, it's 10 to 2, and looking very comfortable. Yes, indeed they are, and their, their seat decide, and our seat decide, You go over to the T side where this map is extremely CT favored. And if you know how to time a C, no matter if you're really good on the map or if you're quite poor on the map, bounce on the board in order to go in on the CT side. And I wouldn't say feel com comfortable, but at least, you know, have a. Have a They think you're a double agent. It's possible. Well, I think that they tried out. Let's just try and go. B let's let's try and go A one round. Cool, thanks. And see what happens. That there for him. Yes. Trouble goes looking in forest. Just doesn't miss those. Get right gets the next. Left in the half. And the home crowd rejoice. Yeah, and these two these two rounds, they're extremely important for play. Is it harder playing at Dreamhack as an NAP player than it is at any other event because you have these fans? I would say it's a lot easier. Yeah. Like, yeah, we, we love to play at Dreamhack before because we know that the, the crowd is... Well, scoreboard would reflect that. Yeah. It's, uh, Two to the good. And they would go on to take... ...see how uh, far this new NIP have come, should they be able to get there. Exactly, that would be their fir first real time. Now, when you were a young Fifth Laren, what type of uh, experience were you taking from a game like this? Orthodox, you know, try to do something that they don't expect. 
down by uh, Alex. He didn't shoot first because he wondered how many players would be following behind. And before he could, it was too late. Next is dropped by Makaleli Sorp, and the push to A is alive and well. At number as uh, get right comes in gets one follows up with a second there's a third to be had but he won't get there stavros gets him Four. Crowd go wild once more last round of the half it is 12 to 2 in favor of the ninjas and from planet key they've given as good as they've got but have offered very I think they had a game game plan coming into um, to this match versus NIP not to play the maps where they probably know that they're not going to win. So playing a map like Overpass or any other map that is not associated with NIP could actually give them the edge. But as far as you know, for Overpass turns out, it seems to be a, to have been the wrong choice. You speculate as to the role of the coach. We ask you, know, what is the coach saying at this time? Um, the role of the coach in NAP. What is he doing? Well, first off, with any, you know, whenever some someone does something good, he's going to let you know it. You know, it's not going to go unnoticed. Say that NIP is in a crumble uh, at the moment, and Peter would come in and he will give exist some ideas on what. round or do this and this is why Pita especially during a major like this when it's very stressful as a player especially when things are not working out when you actually have a player and, and, and just give him a few advice and then you're ready to go and how much did he change for you when he came in he just pointed out a lot of He threw bad flashes somewhere, or he threw bad smokes. He showed us uh, new ways on how throwing these flashes, like, and he, he, he and why he feels that that is the better way to go to go about it. And that if, if you just go and you tell a team or a, or a player, it's like you're doing this wrong, and you don't give a reason, you're not going to learn from it. You're not going to really take it into consideration the next time you do it. But when he tells you exactly how it is, go into this. We talk. Uh, we talked about McAlealy and his map goes. He's been hitting his shots. He's been doing well. He's been locking down whenever Forrest or anyone else on the A bomb site died. He was mo he was clearing the site for them, and he was you know making sure that the rest of NAP could actually rotate back and help him out. So he's been playing great so far. Second half, NIP up 13 to 2. Planet Key thus far have uh, been unable to dislodge their underdog's tag. But the uh, flash and push pushes Trouble all the way out, who did do some damage in that first half, but uh, was an isolated threat that has once again been taken out. It's Forrest who will claim that first frag for NIP. Trouble with a forfer that uh, won. Aggressive there to get an entry. NIP. You can guarantee if Trouble makes a frag movie, that Forfa will be in it. Yes, for sure. And right now, NIP is just, just taking their time. They're taking it slow, and they're not going to let Planicky Here we go. Nades tossed in on the A site. the smoke looking for ninjas and finds them and they pick him off and now it's all on strokes as he comes around the corner forest is there and he will go down and as they chase out this next frag it's alexar that will be picked off and nip pick up the pistol round much to the delight of the home crowd down when they tried to retake the site 276,000 people watching this, and uh, the numbers just keep going up and up. Yep. Which, uh, for, for 
as a player, does that number have any effect on it? No, not at all. That's not something that you think about when you're playing. It's actually fun numbers to know after you're done playing. he has in the LAN tournament. So it's exciting. It's exciting to see how they match up against the, the other top contenders in the world. Sterner tests on stage has, well, not quite gone to the plan they would have had in their mind before they went to bed last. Next pushing out and you just had no confidence. Freiburg was the man who did trouble. Will uh, get himself two more, and uh, he is more than capable of getting himself out of trouble with that CZ. Now, Planet with the man advantage. Can they do anything about it? But it's uh, level numbers as Strokes is down to 19 points of health. The A side is about to be planted on by the NAP side. Existence. has eventually pushed him into submission. Alexar will lead the charge back on the recovery, but he's going somewhat one by one. The uh, reinforcements in the shape of trouble were a little bit behind, and for NAP they were 3v1, 3 And that was a full buy from Planet he trying to win back the pistol round that he lost. Uh, it didn't really pan out. It, it, started, it looked good when Trouble got these nice two, two kills on the NAP to hold the retake. You can only see positive things in that in AP's future. How much did the change in it? A little bit more, because you know, there's some fresh blood, you get some new ideas, and especially when it's a tournament like this, you want to show that you are still the number one team, even though in Thorin's ranking, they're number seven right now, but three months ago, we were number one. They want to get that title back. And that takes time and, and dedication from the players, and that's exactly what they have put down here. ...to cheer in the 18th round, as Alexar has been dispatched by Get Right. As uh, NAP lay their smokes down on A, but... Oh, yet to follow it up again as they lead the assault now. It's Stavros that'll see danger. Get right gets the first frag. Trouble goes down. And uh, St Strug still standing, going for action, but going nowhere as NIP get two. And that leaves next the last man standing. And he will have a tall save. Down. Yeah. But he can do it. He gets First one. Frag. That's, a, that's a good start, right? He and that Mag-7 will go up point-blank range. Almost uh, got into the right position to take on Makulele, but it wasn't to be. And NIP have taken a 16 round. ...side Planet Key, and confidence will be returning to them. Yeah, and what a way to start a tournament for NIP. 16-2... Uh, and they mean business. The next test now is LDLC, and this this game, especially for me, is the highlight of the night. Well, the uh, French side were sat behind them watching, but back, and there's a long, long way to go though in this tournament as uh, we progress to see who will make it uh, out of these groups. And the handshakes from each side are a great sight to see. Yeah, and you saw that when uh, when Forrest got out of, uh, out of his chair, he has some back pain. You know, he's getting old as well, and uh, he needs to take some time to relax. <laughs> but he played he played super well this game, and the next thing you know, after a game, give us the insight. You've just won a game. Do you go and take a smoke? Do you go you know, take a drink? Well, how much do you give yourself kind of headroom to to wind down after this? grab or a drink and you want to go to the toilet uh, th other than that then you go in and you focus about the next game which is going to be the big test versus LDLZ you want to talk about okay which maps do we want to play which maps do we not want to play do we have a game plan coming into this game so straight into it once more well 
We're going to throw it up to Scoot. Scoots, your thoughts on that great game? Thank you, Tosspot and Florin. Uh, again, I think our thoughts would be kind of as expected. They would win that decisively, 16 to 2. I mean, he was saying, you know, they might get more rounds, Planet Key here. Do you think Planet Key have some kind of problem performing on LAN? That it, like, I mean, listen, it, Nip played well, but surely Planet Key should have been able to get a few more rounds than that. Yeah, with T-Pistol um, getting two rounds, that's a pretty awful game. I, I definitely think they're better than that. When you haven't been to a lot of tournaments, playing for someone like Nip can get to you, you know? I mean, even if you aren't, you know, they're not a 16-2 team. I mean, but yeah, I mean, T side overpass is super hard. Like, there's no doubt about it. Like, and then you win one of your next rounds, like five rounds later, your economy's like 16K basically on all five players and, and Molotov smokes. Nothing you can do at that point on a map like Overpass. And in the bump